Thank you, Andrew. Um, uh, before I call our next guest up, I might share a little known fact with you, uh, and that is that Lana Popham, the convener of this rally, was once a Victoria pedicab driver. <laughs> She's got some history with riding the bike. So, isn't it a bit ironic that a tax on bikes, the HST, will be used to help pay for, among other things, borrowing to put a new roof on BC Place? Now, wait a minute. Carbon emissions and epidemic poor health threaten our future. So let's tax bicycles and fix the BC Place roof. Say, why not forget about the roof? It has a lot fewer holes in it than the government's credibility right now anyway. And put the money into bike lanes and trails so more people can get healthy with fewer emissions. I think that would reflect our priorities better, and I think it would reflect those of our next speaker, Provincial Green Party leader Jane Sturck. Would you welcome her up? Thank you, David, and I want to compliment Lana for taking this on. Uh, as David said, we uh, think that we should be investing in infrastructure that gets us healthy, that gets us out of our cars. We believe that we should use our tax system to tax those things that we don't want and to take taxes off those things that we do want. So when I saw them put, take the tax off uh, gas at the pump, I thought, this doesn't make any sense. And of course, putting tax on bikes makes even less sense. And so um, if we're going to get to a green society, we do have to use our tax system in a smarter way so that we are able to get the kind of society that we want. We also believe that there is a place for lobbying. We've also already seen that this government is willing to make exemptions to the HST, and so I'm hopeful that Lana's petition this afternoon and this rally and the work that all cyclists are doing to get tax off bikes uh, will make a difference. I'm very hopeful that this government will try and listen to what it is that people want to say. And we also think that this provincial government has some ability to negotiate with the federal government and that they should be removing the PST part of tax on bikes as well. Thank you very much.